What's up, y'all? This is Ronnie Shaw, Ronnie Shaw Show. I had to come out of uh, retirement for this one. This is a show enough exclusive one right here, y'all. So, you know what I'm saying? This how I end up being here, right? I see it on the news, right? I see on the news, they got footy on there. Tempted homicide, all this crazy shit down at the Super Chicken Lounge. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, inquire minds want to know. You know, I figured he told the news. I seen on the news he told them a little bit of what happened. So, I know if he told the news, I know I could get the whole full blown out exclusive on what led up to the shooting that night at the Super Chicken Lounge. Okay, welcome footy. Welcome footy to the Ronnie Shaw Show. So, like, let's get right, right, right to it, footy. Y'all see you on the news, you was busting, they said you was busting. I think you even you even said you was busting. So what led up to the busting? This whole thing about Super Chicken Lounge is deeper than Super Chicken Lounge. This whole story starts back in 1995. This is where this whole thing started from. I'm gonna tell y'all point by point, back by back, and you can understand step by step where this all came from. Okay. In 1995, I was indicted by the feds. Me and Steve Spearman to sell Nooney Williams a quarter ounce of cocaine. Steve got a year. I did 45 months. Three years, I mean four years and nine months, and I had to do three years to five release. You can look it up on the, on the thing, Ronnie. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. I looked it up. Footy showed me how to look it up. It's like USA, Steven Spearman, or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But y'all can check it out on your leisure. You know, he give you the link or whatever, how to get to it. But I read it, I read it. And from what I see it say, you know, he ain't tell. Now listen to this, right? This is where this whole thing started from, this whole rap thing. It's gonna lead up to the present time. Years ago, yeah, I mean, I was young on 17th Street, you know, in my bag doing my thing. And me and Steve came across Noonie Williams. Yeah, I mean, you know, he used to be a football coach or whatever. And we sold him a, a court of cocaine. Steve didn't, Steve didn't know the law back then, and I didn't know the federal law back then. So Ewa, a lot of y'all probably don't remember who Ewa was. Wait, wait, let me slow the legs. Let me show that out. Now, you said you and Steve sold him a cool ounce. Well, I'm gonna take that back. No. I sold him a quarter round. Okay. I was in a car with Steve. Steve told me to get out the glove department and I handed it to Steve. And that's how I made Steve conspiracy to me for selling a quarter rounds. Okay. Because he instructed me to give it to Nooney. Right. Even though Nooney kept telling me four or five times, I don't want it to be footy. But me being young, 21 years old, I'm saying, just give me that bread. Just give me that bread. You know what I'm saying? I'm a young dummy. So anyway, they wound up giving me four years and nine months, and Steve got uh, a year. Anyway, as I get out of the county jail, everybody on 17th Street saying, I heard you told on Steve, you told on Steve. So now I'm walking around with paperwork. Because back then, the feds gave you the whole rundown. Everything that took place, when it took place, the time, everything. You know what I'm saying? But what I had to realize growing up, the truth don't matter in the streets. It's who got the most money. See, Steve didn't know the law like I didn't know the law. That's why I was never mad at Steve. I was mad at Steve that he never cleared it up. Okay. That's what y'all mad at Steve about, that you never cleared it up. I ain't never been mad at Steve. Because he knows the truth. Yeah, right, right. Never mad at Steve. I was mad you didn't clear the rumor up. Because you see how the rumor took legs to itself. So people that didn't like me because the way I moved, they would always say, I heard you told them Steve. Because they never found, they never, Pulled up on the internet, it's in itself. Right, so let me get this straight. You saying what led up to the shooting what happened go way back to, what year did this happen? 95, you see in the case? This go way back to 95? Right. Okay. So this is where they got that rumor, Footy was a rat, Footy was a rat. I'm 50 years old. You can't find a nigga across America, Buffalo, Pittsburgh, Philly, Mississippi, Milwaukee, that ever say Footy was a rat. But here. And this is where it came from. This is where it came from. 95. In 95. Because the people that don't like me teamed up together. And they gave that rumor legs. Mm -hmm. Knowing it was a lie. Right. But it sounded good for the time for them. 
So that rumor about that came back strong in 2023. In 2003, I'ma get to it. Now, like I said, only thing y'all, go behind me. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go behind me, go behind me. Yeah, go, go behind me. I see. So, I'm gonna tell you how I led to that. I was never mad at you. Yeah, I mean, I was just mad at the point that he never cleared it up. Right. You feel what I'm saying? You know, and that's what got the rumors going that Footy was rap, Footy rap. And it hurt me, you know what I mean, because I've been a dumb nigga all my life. Juvenile to adult system. Locked up in Buffalo, locked up in Pittsburgh, locked up in Philly. You know what I mean? They know who I am. On any Facebook, you see your family, and it's your Footy. I don't change my name nowhere I go. I, I'm me. Well, honey, now anyway, now we gonna speed ahead now to how this rumor takes flight today. In 2021, I was in a raid in Mississippi. Me leaving my place, going to some house's place, there two minutes, cut the shower room, put the kitchen door in, raid. I ain't got no sales charge. My people ain't got no sales charge. I ain't work for my rest. They got to work for the house. So they go up in the house, they find two guns and two pounds of weed. They go outside the house and find a hundred pills. What kind of pills? X, I mean, uh, purpose pills pill in a telephone pole. Mm-hmm. I'm not worried about none of that because it's not my house. You can't carve me something you got outside. It ain't mine. I don't care. Right? Right. So I get out of jail. You know my family can bail me out ASAP. ASAP. I get out of jail. Next thing I know, I hear it all across America, up in Erie, that uh, for you to total somebody. What? Just from being in the raid? Just being in the raid. So I come to Erie. How much How much longer after that? So three months after that I come to Erie. Okay. I'm talking to a couple of people. Uh, they said, well, you up here trying to set somebody up to get out that case in Mississippi. What? What? It, what's wrong with y'all? Like, what would Mississippi have to do up here? That's 15 hours away. Right. Like, y'all, the mind concept. So anyway, I, I didn't care nothing about that. Hold on, maybe we're gonna hear you, bro. Oh, I, I, I didn't care nothing about that. Because I know one and one is two, and, and they should do common sense. Only thing I would worry about in that radio Mississippi is a thought around the fire. Because you, the two pounds of weed, what's that? So wait, wait. So they arrested you as you know, and charge you with yeah, the things they, they found. Yeah, yeah. Because they charge everybody in the house? I was the only person in the house. Oh, yeah, you was the only person yeah, in the house. Yeah, you in the house. So they charged me with everything. Okay. You feel me? Right. So I got to pay the lawyer, my family paid for the lawyer, quick and hurry. Um, so it was, like I said, it was two pounds of weed, two handguns. You feel me? And all I was worried about was the felon around the farm. Right. Because, you know what I mean? I am a felon around the farm. The two pounds of weed, what's that? Didn't have been that, the, um, the gun in Mississippi, they like the kid. Everybody got a gun, but they all registered the people. Right. So I, you know, I didn't care about that. Right. But it took legs again when Novi Crosby sent that text message up north for the array. So now you got the people, you have to do the gossip things, you know what I mean? You know, it was the sham monies, the, the, the tea hazards and them. Oh, put it in the raid, put it in the raid, put it in the raid. If y'all read the thing, you can look up. Waynesville, Mississippi, August 21st, 2021. And you can see it yourself. You feel me? So now, how are we going to keep going fast forward? I come to Erie. I, I'm only coming through. You know, I'm only coming through to see my people in balance. I get a phone call for a piece of property. So I get a ride with Gate, Mike Nibbs, Gate. So we call a lady back. She's like, yo, meet me down. Town. This property I got right now is not for rent. Meet me downtown. I got a benefit the property. I get downtown. It's the rock star. Old rock star ball. I'm like, yo, what you want for this? She said, I want $5 a month. I said, give me a couple of days to think about it. Because the chief was trying to give it to me so fast. So I'm, let me do my homework. I just took a loss of $20,000. This club can get me back on my feet. Quick. So I'm asking people around the streets, yo, what's going on with the, uh, who's doing the partner motion? They said DeAndre Crockett, young DeAndre, and the boy to the day. I said, okay, okay, okay. So I reached out to, uh, to the day. He said, yeah, we gotta think about it. 
Yo, but you reached out to him and said what? Yo, I got a spot. Mm -hmm. Make a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? But I want $5 dollars out of that. You dig what I'm saying? Me using my brain how to hustle. Right. Because if they put the $5 dollars down, right? You know what I'm saying? I get the club. Now I can do a percentage with them. It went twice. Right. That's me using my brain. Right. But a lot of people don't know how to use their brain. Right. So what I did was I hollered at my cousin DeAndre. He said, Buddy, I ain't got the money right now. I got other shit going on. I respect that. You feel know what I'm saying? But to the day, it was like, yo, let me get back to you. So while he was trying to get back to me, I reached out to Ro Page. Ro said, but I got a lot of stuff going on. I really ain't want to get no club right now. I've been through that. I won't do that. I'm thinking about me getting back the 20 dollars I lost, how I can make the bread. So I get a phone call to the day. I want to do the deal. Let's do it. So to the day comes with DeAndre, my cousin DeAndre Crockett, and DeAndre's girlfriend, Sherelle. So they come. So now we meet the lady. We get a lady at five thousand dollars. Boom, got the bill. Now we go up to the notary and do a contract. Forty percent of the door is mine, fifty percent of the door is theirs. That's the contract. Forty sixty, you. Forty sixty, 60 them. Right, 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 right. Because it was all ten a day money. Right, right, right. No, it wasn't all ten day money. Thirty five hundred dollars was ten day money. Fifty hundred dollars was surveillance money. Y'all just girl. Okay. And I'm gonna get you that in a minute. So we do the deal. Everything going. I'm taking hundred percent of the kitchen. By myself, I got the kitchen. Y'all make that agreement? Yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking that, okay, if I sell five dinners a day for hundred dollars, that's three thousand dollars a month. Plus, we got a contract that we split all bills half and half. Okay. You dig what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, all right. Now, I don't want to be down here. So, you know what I mean? Let them run their club. You know what I'm saying? I'm put somebody in the kitchen, do my, make my hundred dollars a day, let them run their club. But something told me to just hang around. So I hung around for two days, three days. They got me to a week. They had a first adventure. Sherelle wants to sell tables for $100 a table. You buy the table for $100, you get a bottle of alcohol free. Okay. I'm telling you, you can't do that. That's selling alcohol. Right. That's selling alcohol still. So that's what you told them? Yeah, yeah. So this is where we get into food at. So I sent one of my homies upstairs. But they told the tip go buy a bottle. He bought a bottle from my cousin DeAndre. Well, not DeAndre. He bought a bottle from one of Terrell's workers. Mm -hmm. The girl should throw up an employee. But I called DeAndre down the table, down to the kitchen. So I'm about to head and see, look, my boy just said you sold about Hennessy. Now I can void your country right off this. I can void your country right off of this. Of this moment right here, your country can be voided right off of this, what you just did. So we talked about it. We argued. You know what I mean? Men, we argued. You know what I mean? But it was court. So what's his what's his argument? What is he saying about it? He didn't do it. You know what I mean? Let me know which girl did it. That way he can fire her. You know what I'm saying? You know. So I'm, he so he's saying, so the way he's acting like he ain't cool with no selling alcohol I, either. I respected that. Is that how he's yeah, acting? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know I mean, because he thought that what Sherelle was doing was the right way. Because he was doing a little homework thinking that you could sell a table. Right. And that can close up the right. bottle. Right. But he didn't know. So I'm not, I'm not mad at him. So let's work it out. Every time y'all do something wrong, I want $1,000. Well, I can avoid y'all lease. That, that's me to put pressure on my cousin to run it right. Okay. Because we can win right here, cuz. Right. So you gonna find it. Right, 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 right. We, we, can, we, can, we can win right here for real. If you just listen to me, we can win right here. Right. So now, we got the 60 40 deal, remember? Right. So I, um, I talked to um, DeAndre's little brother, you know what I mean, you the other stuff, and we had a conversation. You know, I ain't gonna put that on air. Wait, but let me go back a little bit. So with the thousand dollar thing, so did y'all agree on that, or is you y'all don't have to agree on it? You just saying this is what it's gonna be. Right. If I catch y'all doing some shit like this or something, what can endanger the business? I'm finding y'all thousand dollars or what? Right, or my victim, y'all, because the license area in my name right. is licensed under a kitchen. Being licensed under a kitchen, I can have live entertainment. Okay. But see, to the day, number was advertised as Club Magic, and the people downtown told him you can't do this. You can't do what? Advertise that club act is not a club. Okay. It's a kitchen that's allowed to have live entertainment. Okay, okay. You, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. So the power is back in my court now. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because now he's hearing from the people downtown. Right. Because y'all have to go to court about this. Right. So he ain't from the people downtown. So now it's going back and forth. Me and Sherelle, me and Sherelle ain't getting along. I'm feeling like, why do Sherelle got so much to say 
as a woman and you got nothing to do with this Billy deal. And this is DeAndre's girlfriend? Yeah, yeah. So me and her going back and reclassing. Strong-minded woman, I ain't mad at her. But ain't she, is, is she kind of like a spokesperson for DeAndre? I guess so. But how can it be if you ain't got to... My woman ain't got to do with no men business. That's all I'm saying. Okay. But I found out until today that he put up the $3,500 and Sherelle put the $1,500 up. So now DeAndre has to protect his wife's money. As a man, that's his job. Right. I'm not mad at all. But it puts you in a bad situation. Because now she's giving you the battery to do things that you usually wouldn't do. I watched DeAndre grow up as a little kid, bro. I had no problem with my cousin at all. All our life, bro. Even when we had the white house. We had a little, a little confusion, but that's my cousin at the end of the day, bro. Okay. That's my cousin, bro. This ain't no fake cousin. This is my cousin. So we start going, I'm, I'm, we, we have a word now. Now I'm having words with Sherelle. Now I'm his girl. So y'all having vicious words? Word, vicious words. Vicious words. So one day it got to the point where we met up at the King Center. We got into a fight. He won. You were DeAndre? Yeah. I'm 50 years old. I, I can lose. I'm not mad to lose. He won. Y'all agreed to meet up. Yeah. And, 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 you know what I mean? You know, we, we, we agreed to meet up because we going to, I guess, we aren't, but they got out of control. She come down there, cameras and young fella came down there. I'm by myself. I'm not knowing it's going to go to this level. You know what I mean? But they went to that level and we got into a fight. Okay. You won. I'm, I'm, I'm not mad at all. You won. Let y'all know it's all on Facebook. Y'all just be pretty up. I'm still that mad. I didn't come out with a scrap. I'm still that mad. You feel what I'm saying? I'm still that mad. You didn't, it, 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 it doesn't bother me. Because I don't gave a lot of whoopers to the enemy too. I don't, I don't know. This press tried to none of that, right? So now, Sherelle not coming to the club. DeAndre got the sisters there working the door. Yana coming down to the club. Yeah, you know I mean, to collect Andre money from Tina Dana. So it's getting kind of crazy and messy now. Mm. Because his sister got shit to say. You feel what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So it leads up to April 4th. April, you know, April 1st. I thought for eviction. I put it on the windows. Oh, they all thought it was fake. It's fake. Ah, I got fake eviction. Like, I don't know. Like, is you weird? I'm a paperwork king. Right. So, cop to go to court. We go to court, they get evicted. The judge said the same thing I said. Tell the tables, it's been alcohol on it, it's telling alcohol. So they get evicted. So, then they hit me up. Okay, you and DeAndre, you know what I mean? I had a little falling out, we got evicted. You said we still can do business. You know what I mean? What do you want for Friday and Saturday? I said, give me $8.75 for Friday and give me $900 for Saturday. So now, every, every Wednesday we meet up. He give me a money order for 875 but for the best Friday, this Friday night he give me the money for Saturday. We got no problems. So now they put appeal in. And appeal means they can stop the decision if they follow the procedures of appeal. See, appeal was not just follow for the appeal. You still have, have to put your money up that was signed for the original contract at the photonetary office, and that means I still can get that money for rent every month and bills every month. Okay. You dig what I'm saying? They didn't do that. So the judge was like, they, they appeal, it, it means nothing. So Saturday night comes around, when Thursday night comes around, I like from DeAndre to the day and nothing. So I uh, I had a little bit there, I had a bit there Friday, 20, 30 years, ain't no problem. You got know I me, mean? so I said, yeah, I need to make a couple of hours Saturday. I put a picture of Eve on, on the flyer. You got know I me? Mean? So now we down there chilling, everybody happy, everybody, you know, nothing girls in there. DeAndre show up with like four people. He just throwing stuff. He what? Throwing stuff on the DJ group. The DJ equipment get thrown around. He came in and started throwing stuff? Yeah, yeah. With other people? Yeah, yeah. They all were throwing things? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, me, I'm not gonna fight you guys. It's not worth it. This is just treat this is business. So, I called the police. Cops came. Y'all ain't told me, Mr. Well, we got a pill. That means we still can be here. Woo -woo. So, I threw the cops the paperwork. So the cop's like, uh, I need the other paperwork from the judge and sister, but I read the whole case out. So I'm looking through the paperwork. The cops had told him to leave, I got to leave. So I get the paperwork, show it to the police. He said, next time they come, you know what I mean? In case I'm not here, show the other officers this paperwork. And he'll make them leave, they ain't much of the problem. So, I, um, they come back a half hour later. The same people? Yeah, no, it's more people now. 
It's the girl, the, 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 uh, the Frisha, the Frisha Ruger. She been born for like three months because she ripped all my signs off the wall. Chick, half the mic coming for the car. The super chick, my super chick, ripped them off the child of the mall. And I caught her red hair. So she been born. I bought Don't come around me at all. Don't come around my at all. So she come, Sherelle come, DeAndre, Joe Blank, and two other dudes, right? Carisha got a weapon. Other dudes got a weapon. What kind of weapon? You know what a weapon is. Not a knife, guns. Okay. So I'm walking back to the kitchen. I see they weapons. They got them out? Yeah. I shoot in the air. You know what I'm saying? Get out of here, hit the window. And I walk up on DeAndre. You got know I me? Mean? Say, you gonna shoot me, cuz? I'm not gonna shoot my cousin. Mad as I was, I'm not that mad at you. Right. You dig what I'm saying? And that's what he don't want to do. I'm not that mad at you, DeAndre. I'm mad that you can't see through this. That's what I'm mad at, that you can't see through what's going on. So he just, he's lunged at me, get the fight with the You had to, wait, wait, wait. You had a gun in your hand and he lunged at you? Yeah. Out here on stage. You got me acting, you gonna shoot me cuz? You know what? I'm not gonna shoot my cousin. So he like lunged at me. So he lunged at me. We get to fight with the pistol. You know what I'm saying? So boom, it, 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 back and forth. Then I see Carisha popping her gun. So I left DeAndre and went at Carisha. Cause she got a gun. She gonna try to shoot. Cause she wanna be cool. Yeah, she wanna fit in a little crew. So I lunged at her and started falling on the ground. Then they all jumped. And then when the cops came. They gave me the video of me Hale holding the gun, pointing John D's direction, and they all wrote statements to the police that said that I tried to shoot all of them. That's how I got to be attempted homicide. But you said you only fired once, right? Right. Your gun only went off once. Right. And that's how I got to be attempted homicide, because they all went down to a police. I pointed a weapon at them to try to shoot them. And that's how I got to be attempted homicide and four aggravated assaults. Yeah, that don't seem like that makes sense. If your gun only went off one time, yeah. how you would have three attempted homicides. Right, like, but he's not sure they told the police. Right. He's not sure they told the police. And let me get back to the thing. I've been running after our clubs for years. Y'all don't remember the protest that I did when they beat my trust boat up real bad. They messed his eye up. That was me, DJ Mario, who got that group of people to go downtown and march for justice for him. I almost fought the group of his job. Cops hate me with the pastor. They're not my friends. I know they hate me. So when they made the report to the boys that put, he, put a gun up, cops took their ran with it. It's funny. We've been wanting him. We've been wanting to get him. And that's how I got charged. So then it goes to, I sit in jail for uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. They gave me, they gave me the bill that night they rang me. How much? The bill was $100. Yeah, so. And the hundred dollars cash for the piece of property got to be included. I call the bills bond. I call my sister, my nephew, done. You'll be out Monday morning. Don't worry about it. Monday morning, I'm out. When I got to the door to get out of jail, people love me. Motherfuckers love me. JD, them JD, Missy Dollar JD, them right there, ready to put money in my books. Just kind of the love they got for me, because they know I ain't no bad person. The love they got for me. If you a nigga in the streets that came to me, can't get me $1,000 to put on a lawyer. Just come and give it to me. Put something on your lawyer, please. It's the love they got for me. So, what I'm trying to tell y'all is that I'm not mad at Donna. I'm not mad at Nene with them fake statements. But what makes me mad at them, not mad, me disappointed in them, I heard them tell motherfuckers out their own mouth. They didn't know I was in those people. I'm right next to the person. Footy in Mississippi telling them 19 motherfuckers. His kids gotta go on, he gotta go on for their grand jury. Let me make this clear to y'all. Every state that's not a commonwealth state, your case goes in front of the grand jury. You do not go. The case goes in front of the grand jury. You see if there's enough evidence to charge you with that crime. That's what makes Pennsylvania different. It's commonwealth. Detroit, Chicago, Mississippi, Texas, all the other states. That's not commonwealth, that's a difference. But people don't know the law. I have people calling my bills bondsmen, calling the sheriff's department. Yeah, you know I mean, footy folks to be in jail. What's going on with footy? What's going on with footy? How you Ain't that crazy? Yeah, y'all didn't know. Calling my bills bondsmen, calling the sheriff's department, making up fabricated stories.
footy tall though, 19 motherfuckers. I got people in Mississippi, they tell me footy tall like, the shit they, when you tell somebody a lie, don't something come above your heart when you know you're lying. Like when you lie to a girl and you know you're sure a lot of people leave it, it makes you like, damn, I just lied to her. But we can sit there and make a bold lie. A bold lie. Not no doubt a bold lie. And we get on the stairs that, right? Oh man. What I'm going to be honest. Oh, no. Thank you. What I mean by a bold lie is this. You can sit there and tell people that foot is telling on people in this city. Like, it's what I was telling somebody. The attorney general is going to tell you, you don't even know you can't get a baby. But we don't think about that. It just sounds good for the moment. Because you know why? We don't like it for this reason or that reason. So we take that story and put legs on it. I'm 50 years old. 50. Never broken. Never broken. God was blessed by God. I ain't perfect. We all got those scars in our closet. But one of my scars was never broken. That's one thing about me. I can stand on Anywhere I go, I can stand on that. Because I know who I am. All that, I know I don't. Show somebody, show you some proof that's putting together for you. Any kind of proof, you would never see. Your fat, Malik Edison. You would never see it. You would never see it. But you got guys out here. It, I could have got into talking about people's families. This and that third kind of these people have did over the years. I didn't even dog that. I listened to their interviews where they said, if y'all believe them stories, that, that, that should tell y'all something. Because you're hearing the straight up truth. Facts from me. Not an edited version. You're hearing facts from me. Even back in the day, my brother was Steve Spirit You're hearing live facts. When I ain't got the case, you can pull it up. My case in Mississippi, pull it up. Facts. And I talked there in cars with people or a phone with other girls, and they telling them, I'm hearing these people make these fabricated stories up. He telling all night. For what? Oh, yeah, I was raised by a father by the bar. But they don't think. They don't think for a minute that these lies, you know what I mean? These lies they tell us, it depends their characters. I've been around Ghana all my life. Tab was my rock, but I still love it. Even though we ain't speaking right now, you know what I mean? Me and Yonta, we get past these stories. And life, we get past them. But what, what I couldn't get past, we make up fabricated stories. That's what I can't get past. So, Footy, so you think people have been believing the stories? You can feel the energy? Man, listen, right? One thing about people with eerie, bro, do y'all notice that? When Footy Day come up, they grab a dick No matter what it is. Because it's Footy. And I had to realize one thing about the game. You ain't mad because if I got more than you, you mad me for my ambition. 50 years old, never give up. Always trying to do something else. Stretch out the gym. Put this story together over here. How you get this money? How you doing this? See, what I tell these young people a long time ago is that knowledge makes money. Money doesn't make knowledge. As long as you got a brain, you can always make money. See, they don't realize that. And it's the game I've been trying to give up for years. So all these stories I've been hearing about Footy trying to get over me, Footy trying to leave me, these are fabricated stories because it sounds good. Some people in life are not allowed to like me. Because they may know that I know the truth about them. They know I know the truth about them. And a lot of my beefs, and I have the streets, what they about? The street. Me fucking that girl alone. They found out. <laughs> they found out. That's a lot of my beefs. I didn't put through it all. And the under my picture, it'd be about girls. See, y'all don't know it. Because they don't post that part about it. Right. They just say, oh, I don't like Footy. He just getting it good. But it's after the truth. Yeah, Footy had my girl in Buffalo. Footy had my girl in Pittsburgh. That be the underlying root of these, these whole matters. Right. He's all the shit. But Footy, listen, let me ask you, right? Look, listen, everybody want to know, right? And I got a guess. I know I might be wrong, right? But everybody want to know why you named the spot the Super Chicken Lounge. Is, was it a Super Chicken Lounge down Mississippi? I'm going to tell you how. Me and my best friend, you know what I mean? We were the kids group in Mississippi together about, about down for six years. We're, Mississippi's very southern for our soul music. It's a singer called Super Chicken. A singer? Yeah. Okay. And Super Chicken. And I heard it one day. Okay. And I asked, who was that? That's Super Chicken. And his name just kept in my head. It wouldn't go nowhere. 
So when I came up here, you know what I mean? Like, I, I can tell you, I didn't want to put a club together. That wasn't my goal at all. So when I did put it together, super chicken out. Because it was already in my head. Like if you see the number five everywhere you go, and your mom asked you this little night, you know what I mean? What's your favorite number? You don't say five, even if it's not your favorite number. Because it's been in your head all day long. And that's how I was. And that's how I took legs. You feel I me? Mean? People like, wait, the name them. I didn't do this for your approval. I did it because I wanted to do it. And one thing about me, every time I fell, I got back up. And that's what a lot of black men can't do. See, you gonna learn this in life. When you used to have the money, you can't go get a job, not a five job. See, all these old dudes, those big time hustlers, they never had no money. They might have money go through their hands, but they never have money. Because the man with money can never go work for nobody else. He used to have money. That's why I respect my cook so much. He brought it to where he had to get to. You know what I mean? Still paid because he was a ball. Now I can't the ball. And he put himself back where he needed to be. Legitly boss. Because he used to have the money. He could take no style. He could take no picture. He won his own. And that's when you cut from different parts like that. When you know you you just touch the money for real, you can't go work for nobody. You can't give me $500 a week. And we'll be happy with it and live off like that. You gonna want more than that. It's in your, it's in your DNA. And that's what you got to realize that that's what they separate the dudes who got who they own bosses today and the ones who just got a lot of kids. A lot of these dudes got in the game to get women. That's all they got. So they women in the car. Look at them. We ain't gonna branch it to all that. Yeah, yeah. But you're the same thing. No doubt. No doubt. But back when I was parents, you know, you know I can carry with the gun in my mouth. But I'm not mad at God. I'm not mad at DeAndre. I'm mad at him. I'm disappointed at DeAndre because you couldn't see between the height. You couldn't see between the height. After everything went down, I'm still not mad at him. I just want him to pay attention to what's going on. Would you like to reconcile with him? Can I get some? I'll reconcile with God. I reconcile with God. When I look at him in the face, you can't put him. You got me, you don't see me because I'm all about You feel me? Because I know in his heart, that was him. That was the people behind him pushing him to do what he did. Because you see, to the day when they come down there that night, they was at, they was at, at the table. Uh, uh, you understand know what I'm saying? So I knew, but I knew it wasn't him. I knew it wasn't him. I knew that when this girl came with him, why is she always coming with you to get into violence? But this is your baby woman who loves you. Small details. If I love a girl, ain't no way where I'm going to get no trouble. If you go there, you go by yourself. If I really care about you. Let's, let's, let's go have to tell you, right? What's up now? What happened to you, Andre? She would have carried over her life during the day. Go on parties. You would have been gone. Think about that. Mm. Think about that. And you got to talk with cruelty. It's a joke. It was a joke to her. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand, cuz. I'm not getting you to go get your baby mama, not mother, but understand the situation she put you in. As a man, you got to defend your home. I get that. But when your home puts you outside your home, now you're alone. That's all I want you to understand. I'm not mad at you at all. I'm not mad at John Paul, the fake lies she told. I'm not mad at you, John, the lies she told. I don't care about that, bro. Because I'm me. I'm gonna be me forever. And that's why I never got on Facebook and try to go out and I'm gonna be me forever. I don't, got, I don't need nobody to prove it. But one thing I'm gonna tell you about my book, right? When you hate footy, you make the world go crazy because I'm just like you. You don't know, get the truth. Stop. And try to make lies up, and y'all take the lies and put it in your mind. And I'm going to say, bro, I said, I ain't 